Adding or sharing files in class has never been so easy or as flexible as it is in Microsoft Teams. Whether you share a file in a conversation stream of a channel or with one or more colleagues or students in a private chat, that file is automatically saved or backed up in a files tab of a channel or the chat. Let's take a closer look at how you can share files with your students in a channel of your class team. So here I am in the channel from the dark ages to the Renaissance in my social studies 8D team. And let's start in the conversations tab or the conversation stream. Now adding or sharing files here could be an excellent way to prompt a class discussion or even support an ongoing conversation about a specific problem, topic or concept. Let me show you a quick shortcut. If you are working on a PC or a Mac, you can easily add a file to your conversation stream by opening up your file manager and just dragging a file and dropping it here in the new message text box. As that file loads, remember that you can customize this post by adding a comment. You could even direct this post to an individual or a group of students by using at mentions. Let's just delete this file. You can also add a file to the conversation stream by clicking on the paperclip icon here below the new message text box. Notice when I click on that icon, I have a few options. I can select a file from my recent files. I can browse um, other teams for a file or other channels within this particular team. I can select a file from my OneDrive or I can upload a file directly from my computer. Let's go ahead and add a file from my OneDrive. So I'm gonna click on the OneDrive link here. And I'll just look for that particular file that I wish to add. Once I found the file, I just simply select it and click upload a copy. Notice that that file again gets added to the new message text box. And again, I can customize this post by adding a comment. To post this message to the conversation stream, simply click on the paper airplane icon to the far right below the new message text box. Now, keep in mind that any file shared here in the Conversations tab in this particular channel is automatically saved or backed up in the Files tab of this particular channel. So this Marco Polo file, if I click on the Files tab, will be available there in the Files tab. Speaking of the Files tab, Let's take a closer look inside at how we can add content here in a specific channel of our team. The first thing I would like you to notice inside the Files tab is that you can create new folders as well as documents. So I can create new folders inside this particular folder or channel in order to help organize my Files tab. I can also create new documents to share with my class, including Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents. Let's create a new Word document. When you create a new document, it automatically loads in the online app inside of Teams. So because I created a new Word document, it automatically loaded in the Word online app. This means that I can work on a new file for my students without leaving the Teams app. Let's close this and go back to our Files tab. By clicking on the Upload icon, I can upload a file or multiple files from my computer, including my OneDrive,
and any other SharePoint document libraries as long as they've been synced to my computer. Let's talk about OneDrive for a minute. So here I am working in my OneDrive online. Even from here, I can actually share files to specific channels of my teams. So let's find a file that we wish to share. I'll select the file and in the top toolbar, I'm going to select copy to. I don't want to select move to because I don't want to actually remove the file from my OneDrive, but I essentially want to make a copy of it to my team. So I'll select copy to and next I will select my team from the list below. If I don't see it in the list below, I can always browse sites, but I see it right here, social studies 8D. And I want to put it in documents and I'll select the channel that I wish to add it to. So in this case, I want to add it to the from dark ages to the Renaissance channel. And I'm just going to click copy here. Something to note is that since I made a copy of this file to share in Teams, any changes made to the file in Teams will not appear in the original file in my OneDrive. Let's go back to the Files tab in the From Dark Ages to Renaissance channel in my Social Studies 8D team. One more thing I want to show you is you can actually add folders from other cloud storage accounts. This is incredibly handy if you have a folder of files saved in Google Drive that you want to share with your students. So to add a folder from my Google Drive, I will click on the Add Cloud Storage link. I will select Google Drive. I may have to sign in to Drive, and I'll definitely have to click Allow to give permissions to Teams. Now I can select a folder and click Add to add that particular folder to my team. Once that folder has been added, students can view and edit files in that folder. I can add new content to this folder and any and all changes that are made to files here in this folder in Teams will be updated in your Google Drive. Once you've connected your Google Drive to Teams in the Files tab, if we go back to the Conversations tab in that same channel, when you click on the paperclip icon underneath the New Message text box, Notice that you now have the option of attaching a file from a folder in your Google Drive. To wrap up, a few things to keep in mind are, each channel in your team has a unique file storage area called the Files tab. Files stored in one channel will not be visible in another channel. As well, when adding files to your team, whether through the Conversations tab or the Files tab, these files you share can be viewed and edited by all members or students of the team, thus making Teams a truly collaborative experience.